Hello everyone, my name is Sisado. Welcome to this week's episode on the mix up. Today we're making a snake cake. Yeah, snake cake. So I am actually having two models that will join me in the kitchen after I'm done cooking. So they will come and taste the cake. Two real models. To make this cake, I baked two 10 inches, one 8 inches, two 6 inches, and one 4 inches of vanilla cake in six round pans. I start by making a hole at the center of the two 6 inches, the one 8 inches, and lastly the 4 inches by using a round cake cutter to make like a bond cake. I then brought out the rest of the two 10 inches cake and level the top of the cake I stack the two 10 inches cake on top of each other and I use a shredded knife to round the edges of the cake to make like a C shape at the center of the cake to make like a snake is being coiled at the center. I used a ruler to guide me in dividing the cakes. I curve and curve and curve. The carving itself took me close to three hours, but don't worry, you won't spend three hours watching. We will make it easier for you. I used the other smaller cake I added to one end of the cake and try to sort of like curled it over itself like a snake is being coiled over its tail. I used the remaining leftover of the cake to create the head of the snake. I was finally satisfied with the shape of my cake. I showered the cake with simple syrup.
I made Swiss marine butter icing. And I start by spreading the butter in between the two 10 inches cake layer. Then anywhere I joined the cake, I used the buttercream in between. And I crumb coated the cake. I dyed my fondant a really pale yellow. I rolled out the fondant and start by covering the cake
this snake has a lot of seams so i used a little fondant out of the remaining fondant i had left and added water to make a fondant paste and cover the seams using my spatula This snake needs a texture so I am using a sleeve to make it the texture by pressing it into the fondant. To paint this cake, I am mixing a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, and a little bit of ivory food coloring diluted with edible spirit. I began to paint the snake with a light color. Then I darkened the colors and painted the rest of the cake. I made some eyes using edible sugar cake candy which I added food red coloring in order to get the red snake eyes. I used my airbrush and edible spirit to shower the entire snake and then we are done. Snack is ready. Thank you. 
And this cake was inspired by my role model Yolanda Gamb. It's now time to cut the cake. I invited two live beautiful models to my kitchen with their friend Ali Tume Machiji. Welcome to my show, which is the mix up. So now the can go. Okay guys, this is actually my first time. And seriously, I've never thought of this. I've never thought of this brief. Oh my god. Okay, let me do something crazy. I hope nothing will happen. So I'm actually holding a real snake. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I don't even imagine this in my dreams. This is actually the most craziest thing I have never thought I would do in my life. I'm sweating, <laughs> like I'm really sweating. I've never thought I would do this in my life. My sister said that it is a bad idea. My mother said that I shouldn't come back to her house after I do this. And here I am. Just see the video. You just see the video, dear. But, what are you doing? So, but the chicken came back and I said, "Say, can I do that again?" That working can I do that again? I need a cake. I need a cake. Hey. Hmm. 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 Okay, one and the other one of the other one the other one of 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 the other one so, um, I actually made a friend today and a model, not actually one friend, two friends. So, I'm happy and they're going to eat the cake. We've come to the end of this session. This program will be coming to you weekly. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and follow us on social media handles. See you on our next episode.